Yeah. Those that will be here and those that went through, they're going to be with the Lord Jesus. They're not even dealing out with the first, after the thousand years, the first resurrection. There's a lot of things that are going to take place that some people don't, we don't understand it at all. Yeah, all of See, the first resurrection, see that? That's the one we want to be ready for. Amen. They used to sing the song, Where will I be when that first trumpet sounds? Thank you, Jesus. Where will I be when it sounds so loud? It gon' sound so loud. It's gonna wake up the day. He said, Where shall I be when it sounds? See that that's the essence of our of, of our living right. We see what we gotta prepare for. I was thinking today, I said, Lord help me. I think about death a lot. I, I just I just think about death a lot. You know, I, I really, I guess I, I spent a lot of time, you know, but that's, that's life. Yeah. You're right. Sometimes you think about that and say, well, Lord, you're, you're right. We're actually living to die. Everybody, you're living to die. But we got to live to where we'll be ready to die and we'll be right when we die. Amen. We got to be willing to put away everything that ain't like God and be humble and be what the Lord has to do. Because I believe that with the death of a saint is a different kind of death. I think it's a different kind of death. I think it's a death that when you know you're right. When you know the Lord. I believe even on your deathbed, you can feel God's power. You can feel the power of God. Lord Jesus. Death. You can rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Please you rejoice on your on your deathbed when you're right with God. So when you ain't right, that pillow gets hard. You start wondering, and wondering, and your mind running like a computer. But see, we got to live. We got to ask God to help us live day by day. You know, this could be the last one. Lord, help me, help me. Thank you, Jesus. Not just living raggedy. Yeah. Not thinking raggedy. Thank you, Jesus. Not speaking raggedy. Thank you, Jesus. No, it, it, this thing is serious. Do you understand that? Amen. This thing is serious. And when that time comes, then God is going to take back what he gave us. Lord Jesus. He breathed in man and not. Hallelujah. Thank you. And man became a living soul. This right here, this body, that's just your house for your soul. See, that's that's your house. Is that right? That's your house. That's why the scriptures say, you are the building. You are God's building. Huh? So it makes a difference what we do in the body. You got to think about it. You got young, you got souls too. You're gonna get to be this age, that age. You don't got baptized, you need to call on Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You seek the Lord with the Holy Ghost. Huh? Oh, yes, you do. Thank you, Jesus. Who is it to say, well, I'm gonna live, you know, I'm gonna live with grandma, granddad, and mom, and dad. God ain't said that. Amen. Who told you that? Yes, young people say, is that right? You can't, you can't say that. You can't say that. You can't say that. You just don't know that. Is that right? So when we live to the point of it, Lord, I, I got to live up. I, I, got, I, I, got, I know I'm going. That's something people don't like to think about, you know. Because you, so many things can run through your mind. Is that right? It's things that go through your mind. Lord, I won't make sure this is right. Lord, I won't make sure. Lord, what's going to happen? What, what's going to happen? You ain't going to be able to the scripture the dead know of nothing. Uh, you just imagine, you hope. Is that right? But well, we got to live. We really got to live. And ask God to help us day by day. Enjoy life. Enjoy having a mind to live for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Is that right? We want to please the Lord because it, it's, it's to death. You know, it's like God speaks, tells a man, you think it's going to be a long way to life, to live and cherish God. To death do your part. Well, we, 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 once we say we are married, we are married to our Lord, then 
You shouldn't be married to another. So this is the death. Thank you, Jesus. And Jesus said, I will be with you always. He said he will be with us always. Hallelujah. Even Thank to the Jesus. end of the world. Yeah. We got to believe that and take that with us. We really do. We really do now. This is, this, this is more and more, more, more serious than I think sometimes we, we, we think about it. Sometimes we get caught up with things that we are doing. <laughs> Don't we? You get caught up with our things, what we're doing, how it is today. Yeah, but you know, all that's coming to the end. We better make sure we caught up with the Lord. Is that right? That fearing Him and asking Him to help us. Um, it's really true because death, you know. One thing about death, death is not uh, prejudice or racist or, you know, got a certain race or color that it deals with. You understand? Death is what it is. Death. Uh, is that right? Who does it come to? Everybody. As a matter of fact, it comes to all things. Everything that God created upon the earth. Death comes. A tree going to live for so long. Is that right? Amen. The lily of the valley, the lily of the field is only so long. So we all have this our point in time. Is that right? It's only so long. That's something we don't like to think about. But we got to be right. When you're right, you listen. When you are right, you don't worry about it. If you got if you got all your credentials, everything intact, and then the people start checking your passport, or your whatever it may be, if you got everything, you ain't worried about it. When the police stop you and you got your registration, your tag, and all that, you ain't got to be fumbling. I don't know where I put that thing in. Be ready. Yeah. You know we got it. You get the then card and smile. We got to have ourselves, ourselves intact. He ain't able to forgive. He ain't able to have the right love. Don't be, don't be holding grudges. Don't be none of this stuff that have a tendency to, to pull us away from God and to put us in a position of life to where in it could be sorrowful for us at the end. Because you don't, because when you leave it, you don't have nothing in you against nobody. Amen. Yeah. How many people are left there hating somebody? <laughs> you can't have that kind of stuff. You got to get stuff clear. So it's something for us to think about, isn't it? That's right. I know sometimes people don't like to even think about it. Like, Some people don't like to even talk about it. But it's, it's something that, that I, that I, I just think about it all the time. Quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit. Is that right? Then I look around and I said, Lord, everybody got to be there. Yes. Lord Jesus. Ain't nobody, listen. Lord don't nobody Jesus. have, no, yes. we got to go. We got, we got to go. Yes. And you got to be able to receive that and to be able to acknowledge that in your life. Because yes. that then should keep you walking circumspectly. Not like no fool. You don't, you don't know when that time will come. My cousin, son, was a man 23 years old. I saw him and John and Josh, and Joe taking a picture at the family reunion, but now he's gone. Well, anybody expecting that thing, and well, he'll make as much time as his uncle did or as some of his, his granddad did in the military. You can't say that. Is that right? But God has left us here a little while ago so that we can rectify. See, you just, you just never know. You just never know. You feel like a champ. It doesn't matter. You got how much weight you have. You got to death come both clothes. Amen. That's the way God operates. So I thank God myself. I say, Lord, I thank you each day for life. I thank you, Lord, for health and strength. I thank you for the sight of my eyes, the hearing of my ears, the tasting of my mouth. Is that right? The feelings that I have. 
Lord, I thank you. Because you know why I tell you thank you? I want some more. Is that right? I want some more, right? That's why I tell him thank you. I'm not afraid to praise and thank you in the face of congregation. Because I want some more. Is that right? I don't mind that. Because see, I want to give me, I want some more. I said, Lord, I want to be around for more. I, I desire that. <laughs> Is that right? And I said, Lord, I thank you. I want some more. Is that right? See, when you have that kind of mentality, it teaches you to, to treat people right. Not to just treat people in any kind of old, ugly way. Because you can be treating somebody ugly and you can fall out. Bam. Guy told me the other day, he walked up to me, he was on my bus. I see him, but this guy ain't something right about this guy. I'm gonna stay to watch, because I watch the people on my bus. You know, everybody, I just watch the people. I, you know, I'm observing and watching and stuff. This man, he walked me down the bus, and he, he wasn't right, acting right. I said, hey, 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 man. I said, no, you can't go, no, wait a minute, sit down. No, wait, wait. I mean, well, to make a long story short, you know, I took him all the way out and brought him all the way back. And then he wanted me, he insisted on getting over. I said, well, call these people. Let's call them. Make this call call. And I uh, called. Another passenger was calling. I'm talking. I said, what's your name? Because I'm asking a question. Because what I'm seeing is like, it ain't looking good. What's your name? And he told me. I said, okay. I talked back and forth with him. And we called the ambulance. Had to get the ambulance and everything. And, you know, I made sure he was okay when he left. Well, he saw me today or yesterday. He said, hey, hey, Dupree, how you feeling, man? You know, I'm just, you know, how you doing? He said, I'm doing all right. I said, I I'm going to come and talk with you in a minute. You know, I, I was talking to somebody else. And he came up <laughs> and he said, you know, I thank you for what you did. He said, because you saved my life. Right. You saved my life. He said, man, I was having a stroke. Lord Jesus. He said, I was having a stroke in you. He said, you saved my life. Yeah. Well, you know, I ain't trying to get no brownie points, but I'm just glad I was concerned enough, watchful, to see something going on in this man's life. Something ain't right about this, what I'm seeing. Thank you, Jesus. I said, no, I can't put you off out here, man. You got that, you know, so, we, so he, he walked over and said, I said, man, you doing all right? And I just grabbed a touch and the grass. said, all right now. He said, man, I thank you, man. He, he, he really appreciated that, you know? So that's a blessing, isn't it? Amen. What do you think? Keep doing it. Keep observing and doing it. And concerning it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So when somebody comes back to you and says, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I say, Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God. Hallelujah. But that's a blessing. Amen. You got to be watching, observing them things. I'm, I'm just that way, you know, when it comes to the bus, you know what I mean? But, but you know, that, that's, that, that, that's you know, like the light that's touching me. This guy, you know, come back in. He said, what? He said, well, okay, well, I'm, I'm heading back to class. I said, all right. He's the only guy. He's about 60 years old. But he's in school. You know, a lot of older people trying to go back to school now. Because that's the, that's, the, that's the thing now, you know. See, sometimes people feel, they feel, they feel, you know, it's nothing wrong with going to school. Nothing wrong with that. That's no problem. But sometimes it makes people makes people feel good more morally. You know what I mean? Well, I'm in school. That's good, man. That's great. You know, as if you know, it's nothing wrong with it. But some, you know, most people don't go back to school. Older people go back to school. Maybe one day, once I get everything like that, I might go back to school. I don't know. But anyway, it's just a, a blessing to be able to to, to help, to be observant, to help somebody, somebody to say that he was doing fine. I'm glad to see. You know, that's 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 a friendship now. You know. You know, because of, you know, and, and, you know, it's like people don't forget that kind of stuff, man. Because I can see that this man, you know, I can see, you know, I can, I can, I can see his look on his face. It's, you know, he's looking right, you know. And you, you see, stuff, it's like that that particular day. It was people having seizures and stuff. Was, I guess because it was so hot. It was so hot, man. Another driver called and said, "Man, this guy having a bad super seizure. It's like, man." But it's good to have the right spirit to deal with people in a right manner. Is that right? It makes a big difference. It makes a big difference. All right, go ahead. Just want to share that with you.
But the rest of the dead live not again until a thousand years were finished. Uh -huh. This is the first resurrection. This is the first resurrection. Less than holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. Yes. On such the second death hath no power. The second have no power. But they shall be they shall be priests of God mm -hmm. and of Christ. Yes. And shall range with him a thousand years. Uh huh. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his, out of his prison. And shall go out to the to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth. You know, it, it could be some things that's going to take place when you hear the scripture. Say he's going to be bound, and then he's going to be loose, you know, and then he's going to be loosed from the earth. And you know, people are just you know by him just having the free free will to ramp it and run. Can you imagine? We have to thank Satan. Listen, we have to thank God that God protects us because. You know, even the incident that happened in Orlando, that's rulers of darkness. That's that's that that's that that that, that, that wasn't good. That's Satan getting it all that kind of stuff. You know. And then it won't then, you know, you don't want to see nobody die. Nothing like that. But then again, the wickedness of man. Mm -hmm. See the wickedness of man and the way they carry themselves, the way people are doing now, that makes a difference. See, God, God can really do like He did Solomon and Romani. Amen. The world in that man is shaped now. That's right. Because I ain't, I ain't heard nobody doing nothing like no transgender stuff back then. I ain't really doing that yet. I don't know what they could have been doing. But I ain't ready. But you know, the our time, you done got so knowledgeable and so knowledgeable that man want to get something cut off him. One want to get something attacked to them. One want to get something cut off. Men want to get something boost thrown. I know a guy walking around here right now. I look at this guy. I remember when he first started. Stop Look at it. I said, man, this guy, he looks good. I was about, you know, trying to bring his, his, his stuff all the way down so you can see his, his chest, which is supposed to be his mm. breast. Mm. If, you, if you don't know it like I know, you would think. Mm. Yeah. Gorgeous. I mean, that spirit is out there just, you got to be careful. That's why young people, let me tell you something. You better make sure that you have some kind of history That's right. about somebody if you're going to get yourself married or get yourself entangled with somebody. Mm -hmm. You better know something. You'll be so quick to judge, oh man, you'll know, you'll know if she is or him. That's why you need people in the church. You need somebody that's around. Now I'm telling everybody, get somebody. Hey, I thank God I got my wife. She's in the church, man. I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> you better be careful. That's right. Just like, oh, man, she. Because that she could be an it. And you can fall deeply in love. And then they say, you know, just be careful. <laughs> somebody said, well, <laughs> now I'm going to say this. And maybe I'll be. I'm gonna say this. If you get yourself twisted up with something like that, you better divorce it. You better divorce it. That's what I said. Tell the people I said it too. You better divorce it and you better get the real thing. That's right. Because you don't know, matter. How you gonna be bound to a transvestite? Right. See that kind of stuff come up though. That kind of stuff. You can't divorce. You married. You married what? What I married? Mm -hmm. I ain't honored that. No, he ain't honored that. Not one. Not one speck. Nah. Ain't no holy man. That's all holy. Sitting in the old people, married, and all, people married and all this kind of stuff. Young people got a wife to be careful. Right. Nah. I'm telling you, it's just so it's so rampant out there. You got to be careful. It's people. I, I asked one guy on my job. So it's a lady that's working on our job. And I'm like. I'm watching to see a bathroom go in. Went past the bathroom. I said, okay, I'll stick. I said, I didn't want to drive. I said, what? <laughs> yeah, it's a sheet. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I know David. Yeah. You see it, you wouldn't think. <laughs> Lord help us, Jesus. Young people, young people, listen to me. Y'all gotta be watching, be careful. You know, take your parents' advice. Do you know I mean? Just talk with them. Just don't get so carried away. This old flesh and this stuff that's out here now. You know, it's an abomination. 
And they want people to be feel sorry. People feel sorry. For people. Now, I don't know what that man might have thought when he went in there and gunned all those people down. Mm. That goes to show you can't be even be certain places. That's right. I'm just going to go and see how they look. You know what? You've been there, you can go play to see how nothing looks because you're in the death of being You'll be going to death. Amen. Yeah, it's an abomination already. Thank you, Jesus. So you ain't got to go see how nothing looks. I ain't thinking look at the sight of God. Oh, Jesus. How I look at his sight. Just don't think about how I look at your sight because in our sight, everything looks good. Nah. But in the sight of God, Lord, this is a, no, I'm like, no. It's a what kind of bar? It's a, what kind of place? I was, really, when we just having a little house party, you got to keep living, living right. cage. You got to keep everything. That's right. That's all right. all that stuff lurking, house That's parties right. and everything. That's right. We just having a little social. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. is that right? Down. Down. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. So young people, you got to keep your children away from certain stuff. Children want to stay away from stuff. Don't want to just go everywhere. Just say, well, I'm going to stay home tonight. Just, just don't be want to go everywhere. Just, I'm telling you. You better be careful at the movie. Remember what happened in the movie? Man, come in there and shot, shot up everything. Well, I'm going to the movie. You got to be careful everywhere you go. Everywhere. That's even at the restaurant. I got to be careful with child time when I go to Panama City. I got to be careful with child time I come up on the hill like that. I know where. I'm just waiting. To, I'm seeing the development. I'm just waiting to the door. That's all. I'm going up in there, Lord's will. Yeah, I'm going up. But saying the point of the matter is this: we got to be careful. We got to be careful in church. You know, you ushers, brothers, y'all listen to me. When you, when you, you know, if you're gonna go outside, don't go outside just to use the telephone. You know, no, I'm telling you, somebody they just you know, we're gonna leave no service, go outside and do the telephone. I don't, I don't see it myself. I don't see it with nobody. You know, now there's something super duper important. I can understand that now. But I'm just, I just got to call this person. No, when you outside or you somewhere, you at that door, be observant, listen. Because if y'all, y'all was first defense for us, right? No, sir. Anybody no, sir. Carry on. I ain't in the military. No, listen. You got to be watching. You know, somebody coming in, you got to, you got to, you got to. <laughs> You call Jesus and you try to get that gun too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you. He's going no, you get that gun. If you can ram him up to the ram his hand or throw him down, do it. Somebody say I'm militant. I'm just telling you the truth of how life is. You think somebody gonna tell you no? If you can stop somebody, you're gonna stop him. And some people say you can just repent later. <laughs> I mean, really? It's like somebody come to your house. Hmm. People break in your house. And you don't tell your wife, go ahead, go ahead, go see who that is. Man, you better get yourself. That's right. Okay, I see you. Somebody break your house, that should wake you up like that right there. And then whatever the case, you go there and you try to, try to be, you the protector. You got, you got to be wise, don't you? You gonna run out the house and leave your wife in there? The thing, you tell the guy, you stand there and you hold down the fort. Right. Get out of here, y'all. Get out, get out, get out. <coughs> These are things that we got to be listening to. I'm saying all this, but we got to be watching and careful. I'm not telling you, nobody to fight, nobody to understand. You got to be watching and careful. Is that right? Yeah. Wherever you go, because it's wickedness and evilness all around. That's why we pray, our Father, you know, lead us not into temptation. But do what? Do I want to be delivered. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to be caught up in evil. I don't want you to be caught up in evil. We we are blessed. That's why when we come to church, we should be able to come and pray and thank God because He has kept us through another week. Amen. Always when I get home, I tell you what I said. When I get home, I try to make it my business right? to go in my room, close my door real quick, and, and get on my knees and say, Lord, thank you for letting me make it back home to my bedside to my to my chair side or whatever. And I begin to start, Lord, look on my companions, look on my, home, look on my children, look on my grandchildren, look on the saints and all their children, all over the world. Protect them, Lord. Be with them. Help them that they can get back to where they need to be. Because it's important. It's a devastating thing to, to, to hear of some of us and something happened. I don't want to hear about that. But if it happens, we got to be watchful and careful. 
Is that right? Wherever you go. Our, our grandchildren, our children, our relatives. We're in God's way because evil is all around us. We don't know who's going to come to a daycare. We don't know who's going to come to a school. We don't know who's going to come to a place of business or work. So we, we, that's why when we say our prayer, think about when you're saying your prayer. <laughs> think about it when you're saying it. Think about the words that's being said. Our Father. Glory to God. Huh? Our Father, which art in heaven, Hollywood be thy name. Is that, that right? Hollywood be thy name. Amen. Thy kingdom come. Thy will, thy will be done. Thy will. We want God's will to be done right now. Amen. That will be done in earth as it is. So then, if we want God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven, heaven is holy. Yeah, that's right. yes. <laughs> Ain't no foolishness in heaven. So we got to carry ourselves on earth. Yes. Just like, you know, and that's something to think about. You know, you think, say, Lord, I want to live today just like it is in heaven. I, I ain't there, but just, just holy and righteous and the way you want me to be yes, today. On earth. The next is that right? You know, I, you know, that's something to think about now, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. See, sometimes you gotta think about stuff. Oh, you know, let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Your will. Then he said, lead us not into temptation. Lead us not. Lead us not into temptation. See, we don't even want a loss of a desire of temptation to be within us. Because the scripture says a man is tempted when he's carried away of his own lust and enticed. Whenever you are tempted, whenever things come, it's something that's already in you. You're drawn away with your own lust. He said, lead us not into temptation. But remember, before he said that, let your will out, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. They said, lead us not into temptation. But he said, what? But deliver us. Don't you want to be delivered? Amen. Young people, you want to be delivered? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Y'all want to be delivered, young people? Amen. You should want to be delivered. Mm -hmm. Deliver us from the evil. Lead us not in no temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power. Ain't that all right? Ain't that something that's going to Yeah, you know. Yours is the kingdom. You own the kingdom and the power and the glory. Is that right? All the glory belongs to God. Amen. Is that all right? Thanks to Jesus. Amen. So when we say that prayer and think, because see, people say the Lord prayer. No, the Lord say when you pray. That's right. Let's hear it. He said when you pray. Then we like, well, this is the Lord prayer. No, this is what the Lord told his disciples. What he said? But thou, but thou, when thou prayest, but thou. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, enter in, glory to God, Hallelujah. enter in to your closet, your own personal area, is that right, your own solitude, your, you, glory to God, it's just me and him now, Hallelujah. No one else. Uh, go into your go into your closet. Jesus. Go into your closet. Yeah. And then what he said? When thou hast shut thy door. All right. Shut, shut, shut everything out now. Mm. Hallelujah. I'm glory to praise. Enter into thy closet. So shut everything out. Listen, listen, listen. Don't you don't you take your cell phone. You don't know that stuff in here. Go ahead, brother. 
Yes, sir. Because this thing is serious. Yes, sir. This is serious prayer now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When thou prayest, yes, sir. enter into thy, thy personal, is that right? Yes, sir. Individualized. Yes, sir. You got your own closet. Yes, sir. And the next, you got your closet. Amen. Is that right? Your possession. But when you think about it, when you think about a closet, and you think about your closet, you know, when you enter into your closet, you got to glory to your yes, God to Almighty. You got to be able to look at your own self. Yes, sir. Examining yourself while you're in your closet. Your own, your, your own closet. Hallelujah to God to all my Huh? Enter in the closet. Then he said, when you have. Then he said, do what? When I have shut thy door. When you have shut thy door. Thy door. When you have shut thy door. Yes, sir. He's all right. Amen. This thing I got personal, ain't it? Hallelujah. Amen. Me and the Lord. Pray to thy father. Pray to thy father. Pray to thy father. Which Hallelujah. is Pray to thy father. Can't see him. Pray to thy father. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Pray to thy father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm shutting everything out. I ain't got nothing on my mind. It's just I'm in the closet, me and you. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What he say, Rick? Pray to thy father which is in secret. Yes. And thy father which seeth in secret. Pray to your father which is in secret. Oh, Jesus. And thy father which is in secret shall reward thee openly. Shall reward thee openly. Thank you, Lord. All right. But when ye pray. But when you pray. Use not vain reputation. Don't use no vain no. reputation. As you don't have, you know have to be Lord this it's just pray from your heart. Yes, yes. Solid pray, God. knowing that I'm going to shut everything out. It's me and you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, Amen. Just you and get personal. Just, just you and the Lord. I ain't talking. Just talking about you and the Lord. Go ahead. In that solitude, in that, in that, in that point of just sacred, <laughs> sacredness, me and the Lord. Amen. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you something. Go ahead, tell me. You'll feel some power. Yes, something will happen in there. Hallelujah. Yes. Is that right? Yes. That song with sin, secret. Shall reward the open. He gonna reward you openly. Read. But when ye pray, mm -hmm. use not vain reputations. Yes. As the heathens do. Go ahead. For they think. They think because that they shall be heard for their much speech. Let me like say a whole lot. Jesus. Be not be therefore like unto them. Don't be like them. Let me have that people think a lot of bunch of words. Don't you know your don't you know your father know what you need already? <laughs> she wants you to get to the point of, 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 of sincerity with you and him being open and honest, you and him. You ever talk to somebody and say, man, look here, I just want to talk. Sometimes you say, I talk to people. Just I mean heart to heart. Yes, sir. You ever talk to people heart to heart? Yes, sir. And you start crying. Yes, sir. Tears start rolling down. Yes, sir. Is that right? It, it just, you're coming from your heart. Amen. You're coming with no guile. Everything is pure. I'm telling you from my heart, I'm pouring out my soul. That's why it hurts people. Whenever you pour out your soul to see them, and then there is a record oh, Jesus. of what you did talk with them about. Jesus. That hurts people. Amen. That brings distrust. Amen. But when you're coming from your heart, and you see that, you see, they say heart to heart. Because it'll bring, to, bring tears from your eyes and their eyes too. And this, 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 this is something you you understand? This, this, I'm telling you the truth. And it makes some people feel good. That's why I'm going to tell you something. We can talk to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm going to tell you something. It's always good if you can find somebody you can trust. 
enough to share things with heart to heart. Where that person ain't gonna, they gonna take everything to the grave with them. Amen. That's kind of hard to find, but it's out there. Because people so social media now, they'll put something on there and then they won't tell you where it comes from or who it is, but then they talk about you. Oh, you know, I ain't gonna talk about it. Is that right? You want to be able to heart. Yeah, you, you, you ever talk hard to heart somebody? Don't, don't, don't make a difference. It can be hard to heart with your children. With a son or a daughter. Or with your children, friends. Huh? Amen. Is that right? Man, I think you talk. Man, it's not you think. Man, you're a big baby, man. It's just when the stuff comes from your heart, oh. it makes it, it make a difference. Yes, sir. And I ain't saying I ain't putting on. Just like, I ain't got time to put on. No, sir. It's sometimes people may not express themselves like everybody, but, but it's when they express themselves, when yes, they sir. talk, and it comes from their heart, it means something. Yes, just like you. God knows by all of us. That's why it says, go in your closet. So, go in your closet sometime, okay? Amen. Take a trip to your closet. Is that right? It may be 12 o'clock at night, maybe 3 o'clock in the morning. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. He's singing a song. How are we going to talk to Jesus? Jesus. Tell, him, you know, tell him about the trouble. He'll make things right. Jesus. Sometimes we have to get him out of bed and go in another Jesus. part of the room. Jesus. Jesus. Another part of the house. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. It's quiet. Everything is quiet. Jesus, oh Jesus. The glory to God. You, 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 you're going down. The door being shut. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Is that right? Oh, yeah. you want to, you just want to talk to the Lord. You ain't making a whole bunch of things. Oh Lord, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You just tell him, Lord, take me to it. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Lord, help me in my family. Jesus, Jesus, Lord, Jesus. 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 Jesus.
Let us sing together. Amen. May God bless you. 